Hi everyone, welcome to this episode of Kuiper Labs. Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to draw ray diagrams. So one of the things that we is a crucial skill to learn when we're dealing with the behavior of light with mirrors and lenses is being able to draw a diagram representing what you see. Okay, so there's a couple of um, so some ground rules that I'm going to establish, um, and then I'm going to walk you through the process for drawing it. You know, to show you an example with a mirror, like I've got here, and with lenses. Okay, so some of the rules that we've got to follow. You've got to always use a ruler. So we don't freehand the lines here. We have also use drawing in pencil. We use arrowheads um, to show direction as far as which way the light is coming from and going to. And then we also we trace around the object. Okay, so the object, or we draw a line along the surface. Okay, so what I have here, I've got my light box, which is this item here, which is giving me a single slit or a single ray of light that's traveling out from there, rebounding off this flat or plane mirror, and then it's re, um, and then it is uh, reflecting over to there, so the, on the, the left side of your screen. <coughs> so what I'm going to do, I've got my pencil, I've got my ruler, and now I'm going to, on this bit of paper which I've placed on my canvas here, I'm going to walk you through how to do it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to press down on my object and I'm going to trace that surface. Okay, now I don't really need to trace around this object because it's actually only the fact that it rebounds off the mirror that is particularly important here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, rather than trying to squeeze my ruler in there, which is not going to work, I'm going to use a pencil to make dots to, at the start and finish of each ray, this um, ray that's bouncing onto the mirror we call the incident ray, and then the ray that is traveling um, away from the mirror, the reflected ray. So I'm going to do a dot at the beginning and um, end of each to show where they're hitting, and then I can actually move them out of the way and can use the ruler to complete my diagram. So I'm going to do a spot where it's rebounding onto the mirror, and then I'm going to do the spot just over there, so now I've got a point at the beginning and end of this ray, and then I'm going to do a similar one over here to look at my where my reflected ray comes from. Now, because I'm dealing with a mirror, it's only hitting at a single point on the mirror. When you're dealing with passing through a prism, then you're going to need to do um, points for, for more than one ray. So I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so now what I can do is I can actually move that out of the way, and I can move the light box out of the way. Okay, and now I you can see it's a, it's a little bit faint on here, but I've got the line which represents my mirror. So I'm going to draw these little hatch marks to show that that's kind of the back of the mirror. Okay, and now I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to connect up my dots. Now I realize the contrast on the camera because the lights are off isn't flash. Okay, but hopefully you can see it a little bit there. And then connecting up my second dots. Okay, if you can draw use a ruler to connect two points, you can do this. If you can't, then you probably need to go back to primary school. Sorry, that's probably a bit harsh. Okay. All right, so now I've got my mirror, and I've got my two rays that are hitting my mirror. Okay, and now what I can do... Let me see if I can... If I switch that off a sec. Well, that makes it a little easier. Um, and now I'm going to use arrowheads to show the direction of the light. So this was the light ray that was coming towards the mirror, so I'm going to use that to show that it was going that way. And then I'm going to do this to show that it was rebounding that way. So now I have my ray diagram for a mirror. Let's go through the same sort of process with a fresh piece of paper to show a prism. Okay, so now what I have, I have a rectangular prism here. So it's a rectangular piece of perspex. I've got a light ray coming out of my light box that is traveling from left to right, and it is refracting or bending through my prism. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do, I'm going to use my pencil. I'm going to trace my object first. So unlike I did with the mirror, I'm actually going to trace all the way around this one because you can see that where the light enters and exits the prism is going to be quite relevant to this diagram. So I'm going to make sure I capture all the surfaces adequately. Okay, just like before, I'm going to mark the entry and exit of each of the rays, and then once I'm done, I'm going to remove the objects and use my ruler to complete the rest. Okay, so I'm going to do my where the incident ray starts, where it enters the block, 
Okay, you want to make the pencil marks clear enough that when you take things away that you can actually see where you've done it. So just be mindful of that. Okay, I've got a point over here and point over here. Now I don't need to try and worry about trying to put points under the block because I can also I can connect up where it travels through by the points that I've made on either edge. Now depending on exactly what I'm trying to show, I might also be trying to show these rays reflecting off the outside and things, but at the moment I'm mainly focusing on that major ray that's traveling through. Okay, the rest is, is not as important. Okay, so I'm going to move my things out of the way. I'm going to switch off my light box and then I'm going to complete my diagram. So again, I know that the contrast isn't, isn't great. Um, if I put the, the room lights on, it's going to wash the camera out. So unfortunately, that's, that's not really going to help. Um, but perhaps what I might do, thinking on my feet here, is I might actually trace this. Rather than doing it in pencil, I might technically break my own rules a little bit to actually draw in something that's a little easier to see, which is a really fine uh, whiteboard marker. Okay, but so same process. Okay, so I'm going to line it up and connect my dots. Okay, I'm going to then connect up the dots that are traveling, the ray that is traveling through my block. And then I'm going to look at ignoring the fluff and then do this refracted ray that has passed through. Okay. Okay. So now this is the corner of my perspective, corners of my perspective block. I'm not going to trace around it at the moment because I've done enough of that. But that's so you can kind of see where that goes. And then I'm going to use my arrowheads to show direction. To show that it was traveling from the left hand side through the block and then out the right hand side. All right. Um, the rest is over to you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.